feared I might never see Leo again. Now she can be my bridesmaid. I would never have dared hope for such a change in you, Uncle. You must surely be the cause of it, Miss Hayward. I can make no such claim. Let me just say this. I would never ask you to marry any man against your will. A young woman should be free to follow her heart. Not forced into a loveless marriage just because her parent or guardian considers it advantageous. But I would beg you to consider if this is what you truly want. You're a remarkable young woman. I've not said it's enough. You hold so much potential. I'd hate to see you set a limit on a life that's barely begun. The choice is yours alone. If you sincerely believe that Edward Denham is worthy of you, that he can offer you the fulfillment and happiness you deserve, then you have my blessing. Edward is a good man. He has treated me with nothing but respect and kindness. He could have taken my honour but chose not to. No. It was only their arrival that spared your honour. What? A good man would not steal you from your family for his own ends. This wasn't for your own ends. We are in love. I've never been in love with you. It has only ever been your inheritance I wanted. Not you. Edward, that is a lie. Don't do this. You do not care about my money. We are fated to be together. Are you really so naive? There were many women before you. There will be many women to come. Did you really think that you would somehow be the one to redeem me? I always put myself first. Ask Esther. Ask Clara. Ask my son. <laughs>